Hey, Kay. You must be tired after a long day. Today is a special day for us. Do you remember what day it is? The answer is, it's our six month anniversary of being engaged and living together. That's why I left work early today. Since it's a special day, I'll prepare a fancy dinner. I'll go grocery shopping before coming home, so please wait a bit if you're feeling hungry. Don't eat anything just because you're feeling a little peckish, okay? We won't be able to enjoy the dinner that I'm prepared if you do. Oh, by the way, what would you like to eat? Please reply to this message as soon as you see it, and I'll buy the ingredients to make your favorite dish. Missed call. Missed call. Kay? Please reply? What's going on? Missed call. What the hell is going on? You keep calling me non-stop. What do you mean what's going on? You haven't been replying to me and you didn't even answer my phone calls. Besides, after I finished shopping and got home, all of your stuff was gone. I'm worried about you and trying to contact you. What the hell is happening? It's nothing. I sent all of my stuff to my parents' house and I'm at their house right now. Huh? Why? Did something happen? Don't you get it? I wish you could have sensed it already. I want to break up with you. Of course, that means breaking up our cohabitation too. Why, why all of the sudden? Because if I told you, you'd just try to stop me, right? That's why I left without saying anything. That might be true, but I love and cherish you. If I did anything wrong to make you uncomfortable, I'd like to know what went wrong. It's too late for that now. And I wish you could have figured it out already. That's impossible! Even though we're partners, I can't read your mind, you know. But we can resolve this by talking it out. We're engaged after all. We'll be a married couple someday, won't we? That's why we need to make an effort to understand each other. Huh? How long are you going to keep saying things like engagement and marriage? I see. You really want to break up with me. You want to cancel our engagement, right? That's what I've been saying from the beginning. Why? Uh, why? Jeez, you're so bad at understanding. It's frustrating. It's your fault that it turned out this way. Huh? You just keep working overtime every single day because you're too busy with work. It's been like that for a while now. Your work is more important than me, isn't it? That's not true. You are important to me. I always think about you. But right now, I have a big project going on and the workload is increasing, so overtime is unavoidable. But that's just temporary and I don't have a choice because it's work. I feel guilty for making you feel lonely, but you work too, so you understand, right? Shut up! That's just an excuse! Because you work late every day, the house is always a mess, and you're even cutting corners on meals! Yes, I apologize for that, but work will settle down soon and then I can take care of the house. Would you reconsider breaking off the engagement, please? There's nothing to reconsider, absolutely not! But we've only been engaged and living together for six months, and yet you're neglecting me in our house like this. If we get married, it'll only get worse. It can't be helped. It's work. Or do you want me to quit my job? If I quit, our income will drop significantly. It'll be tight financially. Hey, hey, use your head more. Why don't you look for a place where you can work for shorter hours with the same salary as now? You know, I earn more than average people. There's no such workplace under that condition. Ah, oh, jeez. Another excuse. You're not qualified to be my wife at all. That's terrible. You're the one who's terrible. Because you were too focused on work, you neglected me and the house. But that's because we were trying to save money together and built a house. You're the one who said that. That's why I work so hard. That doesn't mean you can ignore me. You should have adjusted your working hours. In other words, the reason for our breakup is your lack of effort. My mom is wonderful in that regard. She always puts me first. You should learn from her a little. 
Yes, yes, my situation doesn't matter, huh? Look, I'm also upset right now. Why don't we calm down first and talk things out? Maybe our feelings will change if we do that. Hmm. <laughs> There's no way my feelings will change. I'm an elite businessman, you know? You can't even do household chores properly. It's just not a good match. Did you really think that way? That's so shocking. And you, you seem to be insinuating that I'm slacking off on housework. But you're the one who hasn't done any housework at all. You leave your clothes all over the sofa and just leave them there. We both work, so couldn't you have helped out a little bit? Pathetic. You should be able to do that on your own. That's what I mean by a lack of effort. Well, I was wrong. I'm sorry. So please, don't leave me. Hmm. I know how much you want to cling to me. I'm cool, and I'm an elite after all. But to be honest, it's annoying to deal with that kind of thing, so just give up quietly. I can't do that! It's too sudden! Hey, are you cheating on me? Are you comparing me to someone? Trying to switch to the better one? There's no way I would do that. But even if I were cheating on you, isn't it your fault? What did you say? I can't tolerate this anymore. You're acting weird towards me. You're pushing all the housework on me and treating me unfairly. If you had so many complaints, couldn't you have helped with the housework? What's wrong with you? You're trying to make me do the housework? My mother would be disappointed if she heard this. What's with this? Talking about your mother the whole time. Aren't you embarrassed at your age? That's called being a mama's boy. I can't believe you're such a mama's boy. And on top of that, you have the worst personality. That's enough. I'm completely over you. Let's break up. Finally, you came to your senses. I've been saying that from the beginning. Oh, and you know what? I'll give you some advice out of kindness. You need to work on yourself more or you'll never be happy. Thanks for your concern, but no thanks. Don't ever contact me again. Missed call. Missed call. Please, please answer me. Missed call. Missed call. Oh, come on. What do you want? Didn't I tell you not to contact me again? I'm sorry about that, but I don't understand. You asked me for compensation, didn't you? Why should I have to pay for that? If that's the case, you know best. Huh? Maybe you think that my infidelity was the reason for the breakup? That's a big misunderstanding. I never cheated on you. Oh, really? You're the worst. You even lie. You know, I was suspicious of you. Your behavior at the time was too sudden and unnatural. So I hired a detective to investigate, and evidence of your infidelity was found, just as I suspected. You're truly the worst. What the hell is that? After doubting me, you invaded my privacy without permission? You've been preparing for revenge this whole week? Don't pull such a dirty trick on me, you ugly, evil woman. You can say whatever you want. I think that you who cheated on me is more dirty and ugly. Besides, if we had broken up peacefully, I wouldn't have even noticed your affair and I wouldn't have demanded compensation. So this is the punishment you deserve. Hey, you've been making a fuss about me cheating, but where's the proof? Well, I didn't cheat, so there's no such thing as proof. Of course, I have no intention of paying compensation. That's too bad. Whether you like it or not, you will definitely pay compensation. Hey, don't you know? If there's no evidence that I cheated on you while we were engaged, I won't admit to infidelity and won't be obligated to pay compensation. Oh, don't worry, it's okay. As I mentioned earlier, there is solid evidence. The proof photo should have already been sent through my lawyer. Check your mailbox. The photos capture you entering the hotel with another woman and leaving the hotel with her the next day. What did you say? Hey, wait a minute. This must be some kind of mistake. Oh, I remember. It's definitely the day I helped a woman having trouble. Huh? Poor girl. Her boyfriend was a cheating guy and she didn't know that she had been cheated on for a long time. Isn't that me now? No, it's a different story. Her name is Elise. 
On the day Elise found out about her boyfriend's affair, they had a big fight over it. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, it was. But in the end, there was no proof of cheating, so Elise lost the fight and was kicked out of their house. And then? Elise, who was kicked out, was at the depths of despair. She was going to dedicate everything to him, but being cheated on and she had no place to go home. So she lost the meaning of life and was trying to jump into the river in the middle of winter. I happened to see her at that moment and called out to her because I thought it was dangerous to leave her alone. What a beautiful story. You could be a writer and sell it. It's a true story. So I heard the situation from Elise and I thought it would be better if I stayed with her that night. So I reluctantly took her to the hotel. Reluctantly? It seems like you were pretty happy to go with her though. You went in with a pretty happy expression on your face, I believe. Well, there were some enjoyable moments in our conversation, you know? We just happened to get caught in a photo at that time. I see. So, what about the part where you two were holding hands? She actually held on to my arm first. She was a woman in distress, so I didn't shake her off. I see. So it's okay for me to be hurt like this. No, that's not what I meant. After spending a night with a woman you didn't even know without telling me? Even if there was a situation, you should have at least contacted me. You being suspicious was a given at that point. That's definitely my fault. But if I told you, it would just make you more anxious. You're always working overtime, so I thought it would be okay if you didn't find out. And since you're always so busy with work, I thought you didn't care about me anymore. That's why I didn't contact you. I see. Well, I guess it's okay for that part then. But you've met this Elise person many times, haven't you? Well, I was worried about Elise, and since I said I would listen to her any time, she came to me. Oh my. So you listened to her patiently at the hotel all night, every time? You're so kind. No, it's not like that. Believe me, I didn't do anything you're thinking of. Enough. I'm not stupid enough to be fooled by your pathetic lies. Besides, there's more than one piece of evidence. There are also things that I didn't send you. There are plenty of proofs of your infidelity. That's not... So, what kind of story are you going to tell me now? <sighs> okay, I got it. I give in, I did cheat on you. As I told you when we broke up, it was because of your lack of effort. What? Are you picking a fight? No, no. We've had enough fights already. It takes a lot of energy to argue, you know. I don't want to waste any more energy on this. Seems like you already spent a lot of energy thinking of excuses for your infidelity. Well, I'm sorry for that. Whatever the reason, I'm the one who did wrong. I'll pay you the compensation if you insist. Why do you have to put it that way? You really don't get it. Well, if I get paid, that's fine. And I feel great after breaking up with such a terrible person. Same here. As long as I pay the money, I can live happily with Elise. I feel so relieved. Oh, really? Then please don't contact me again. Just to let you know, I won't show any mercy even if you can't pay the compensation fee. Okay, okay, I got it. Missed call. Missed call. Maria! My beloved Maria, can we talk again? I really want to talk to you. Missed call. Please, answer me! Maria! Jeez, you are such a shameless person. How can you persistently contact me again like this? Didn't I tell you not to contact me anymore? You are so self-centered. And what's with my beloved Maria? It's disgusting and makes me sick. Please don't ever call me that again. I'm sorry. So, what do you want now? You have already paid me all the compensation money. I don't want to talk to you anymore. I will block your calls after this. Wait. After that incident, I have reconsidered a lot of things. I also realized that I had some faults. So, can we start over? We can make it work this time. You know, love becomes stronger after overcoming a crisis. Don't people say that all the time? Right? You. I can't believe it. Do you even know what you're saying? 
That's too convenient to you. Have you forgotten how you blamed me when we broke up? What an airhead. I should learn from you. Anyway, you're the one who threw away the chance yourself. Didn't I tell you that we should calm down first and talk things out? That it might change your mind if we did that? You gave away the last chance yourself, and you hurt me so much. And you still want to do something to me? I understand that you want to cling to me. After all, I'm a kind and beautiful woman who can do housework and good at what I do. But to be honest, this is really annoying. I understand. I've said some terrible things and hurt you badly. As you said, I missed the chance you gave me, but please, let's meet and talk about it. Then you'll understand how serious I am. We can spend happy times together like we used to. Oh, really? What a wonderful scenario. It's so lovely that it makes me laugh. What on earth could make a person change so much? Did you meet God or something? Ah, I found a goddess that is you. Disgusting. If I were a goddess, I would push you down to hell right now. No way. Hmm, <laughs> sure I will. Wait, what about Elise? Didn't you leave me saying you were going to be happy with her? Actually, I broke up with Elise. What? In such a short time? Did she realize what a scumbag you are and run away? No, she's the scumbag. As soon as we started living together, she quit her job. And not only that, she doesn't even do any housework even though she doesn't work. Oh my, that sounds tough. But it's your own fault. You cheated on me without knowing who she really was, and it was your fault to move in together. It's not like that. Elise was lying to me. I was deceived. I thought she was good at cooking, but actually her mother made everything. Even when I went to her room, it was clean, but that was because Elise's mother cleaned it. See, I couldn't have known that. I was the one being deceived. I'm the victim here. That's too bad for you. But it seems like you two have a lot in common. A liar who can't do housework. I think you and Elise are a perfect match. No way, she's such a slob. Elise probably doesn't want to hear that from you either. So what's your point? Just because you broke up with your mistress, you want to get back together with me? Don't mess with me, that's all just excuses. Whoever she is, you chose her. You should take responsibility to the end. And I can't believe you anymore. You said ridiculous things like we could be happy together again. But I absolutely refuse. I decline. But you have no heart to love others. The only person you love is yourself. That's why you can do cruel things so easily. And anyway, do you think housework is only for women to do? That's also ridiculous. A partner is a relationship where we support each other in life. It's wrong for one person to bear all the burden. If that were acceptable, one person in any relationship would always be at a disadvantage. I see. You're right. But my mother never complains, and she willingly does housework every day. She does housework perfectly every day, so I thought it was normal. You're old-fashioned. You should update your values. Besides, your mother is a full-time homemaker, right? That's why she does the house, that's why she does housework to reduce the burden on her partner. Is that so? Oh dear. You don't even know that? You're really an idiot. Besides, I work full time, so there's no way I can do the same things as your mother. I thought you could do it. It's troublesome to be expected to do too much. Or rather, if you wanted me to do the housework perfectly like that, you should have let me be a homemaker. That's impossible. Why not? I won't be able to live in luxury. I'm stunned. I'm glad I broke up with a selfish person like you. Don't say that. Please, let's start over again. I apologize for everything and I've reflected on my behavior. So what do you say? Even if you're sorry, you still won't do any housework, right? Anyone can reflect on their behavior. It's not something special. Huh? Even monkeys are smarter than you. They're even cuter than you. They might be better than you. That's mean, Maria. You're being so cruel. It's the truth. Can't help it. And also, I'm seeing someone now. Huh? It's your co-worker, Joseph. Joseph? Why him? 
You didn't have any connections. That's right. He's someone I wouldn't have met under normal circumstances. But ironically, it was you who introduced me to him. What? I didn't introduce you to anyone. That's right. The reason is because you were bad-mouthing me at work. Oh. It seems like you have some idea of what I'm talking about. You were making fun of me at work, weren't you? Because of that, Joseph was worried about me and contacted me. Unlike you, he is very kind, sincere, and a wonderful person. I met him like this and ended up dating him. In a way, thanks to you. That's just... Don't believe Joseph. Joseph is deceiving you. I never said anything bad about you, so don't believe what he says. Huh? How can you say something like that? You've lied to me and hurt me so many times. Do you really think I would believe what you say? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, I'll teach you a lesson. Your colleagues at work hate you, you know. What? What makes you say that? I've got good reason to believe that. Everyone knows you're a mama's boy. I hear you are sarcastic with your female employees, comparing them to your mother. You always complain about how your mother would do it better. According to Joseph, you have a bad reputation at work. Your poor mother, she's being thought of strangely because of you. That's not true. It's not my fault and neither is my mother. You're definitely to blame. Female employees are all repulsed by you. They don't want to have anything to do with you. There are a ton of complaints about you. What? Is that why there are only men around me all the time? That's right. Furthermore, your values are outdated. Even male employees are sick of you. That can't be true. It is true. Unlike you, I'm an honest person. Why don't you ask Joseph if you don't believe me? You always say things like, I don't do housework, or that's something women should do to everyone. And all you do at work is chat without doing much work. That's because I need a change of pace from work. Don't you have any sense of responsibility? You're getting paid for your work, and yet you don't work up to your salary. If you had any motivation, there might be a way to save you. But if not, you're just a hindrance. Hey, you don't have to talk to me like that. Come on. Shut up. Okay. If there's even one person like you, it will bring down the team's motivation, interfere with work and communication, and it will be a disadvantage to the company. Honestly, the president might even want to fire you. You can't possibly know that. Who knows? A lot of people at work already hate you, and you've lost their trust as a person, haven't you? Everyone already knows that you've cheated. Huh? Did you spread that rumor? I wouldn't do such a vulgar thing. We were just spending time together at Joseph's house, and coincidentally, some colleagues from work came over to drink. I welcomed them with some food and explained the situation, and I guess the rumor spread from there. Damn it, this will affect my position in the company. Don't worry, you never had that position in the first place. What? I've been listening to you all this time. You're making fun of me this whole time. I just think differently than everyone else, and you hate me just for that. Well, I'm at fault for cheating, but that's just how the world is. It's not just because of different values, but also because of your personality and behavior. You finally understand that cheating is the worst thing that you can do. In the end, it's your behavior that people don't like. Also, let me tell you something that you don't seem to know. Believe it or not, a man in his late 30s who is a mama's boy and arrogant isn't in demand, you know? You should work on being a better man. I see. Thanks for telling me. You really are kind. Even now you're worried about me this much. Huh? You really don't understand other people's feelings? I'm really starting to worry about you now. What do you mean? Never mind if you don't get it. Really? Yes, I don't care about you anymore. Hey, don't be so shy. Huh? Please be honest with your feelings and give me another chance. Huh, are you still saying that? Yes, I've fallen in love with you all over again. You're not just beautiful on the outside, but in the inside too, and you're so strong. I don't want anyone but you. Why didn't I notice your charm before? Please forgive my foolishness. 
Maria, I truly love you from the bottom of my heart. Please believe me. It's too late for that. And are you crazy? You've treated me terribly in the past. Do you have no guilt? Stop saying disgusting things. I'm truly sorry for that. But because I hurt you in the past, I want to make you happy now. Well then, I'm happy with Joseph. If you truly love me, you will respect my decision, right? That... I'm sorry, I can't do that. Huh, you're still so selfish. Should I recommend a good hospital for you? I've been saying it all along, but I have a precious partner named Joseph, and yet you still want us to get back together. What you're saying is that I should betray my current boyfriend and date you instead. You're asking me to trust someone who would say something so despicable? Absolutely not! I refuse! No, that's not what I meant. And what you really want is a convenient woman who can work and do housework perfectly, right? How much longer are you going to belittle me? I'm in a relationship with Joseph and even thinking of getting married. So there's absolutely no chance of us getting back together. But I don't want anyone but you. Huh, spend the rest of your life regretting that. I can't be with you anymore. It's a waste of time and energy. Joseph proposed to me, and we decided to get married. That's not the only good news, though. Both Joseph and I have been promoted. Thanks to that, we have a lot of financial stability in our lives. We travel together a lot. On the other hand, Kay, my ex-boyfriend, is being pressured by his mother to get married. Everyone knows about the awful things he did to me, so no one wants to approach him, and he's having a hard time with finding a partner. He can't stand being at his parents' house anymore, and apparently he's living alone. Probably because he can't do housework, his appearance is shabby, and he's even eating cup noodles alone for lunch. His boss saw him like that and said, someone who can't even take care of themselves can't do their job well, and apparently decided to demote him. On that point, Joseph is the best. Even after I got pregnant, he takes good care of me and washes the dishes for me. I do anything else I can do to help out. We're supporting each other to live happily together.